Alex from Stratify here. So we're just going to go over uh, the fuel system of the Mark 6 GTI uh, and show you guys how to properly add more fuel into your car. So the direct injection uh, systems in these cars are composed of essentially three components. Uh, one, you have the fuel injectors. Two, you have the uh, high pressure fuel pump. And then three, you have the low side pump, which is actually delivering fuel to your high pressure pump then that's pressurizing the fuel to, uh, to about 2,000 PSI in this car, and uh, then that's being injected into the motor. So uh, what runs out first? Well, on this particular chassis, on this particular engine, uh, your high pressure fuel pump and your injectors uh, are the ones that are going to run out of fuel first, and to, they're going to run out of fuel even quicker if you run ethanol. So expect that as you're kind of uh, breaking past that 300 wheel, uh, maybe 325 wheel of horsepower, that you're going to run into some uh, fuel system limitations. So anything above a KL4, you should be considering a fuel system upgrade. So what we've already done here is that we have uh, our AUX fuel kit. Uh, you guys uh, have seen this in action. Uh, it's on a, a number of cars that are making uh, well over 400 wheel horsepower. And what it does is it adds an additional port injector uh, to, the, to the pipe leading up to the throttle body. And that injector is controlled uh, via a different controller um, right there. And uh, it, it provides additional fuel uh, and it supplements the, the high side, so the high pressure pump, and those direct injection injectors. So that takes care of that side of the equation. And this injector can be upgraded, even the one that comes in the kit that's 1,000 cc is good for really getting you uh, into the, the past the 400 wheel horsepower uh, point with no problem, and you can run uh, ethanol mixes and so on. So that leaves one more weak point in the system, and that's what we're working on addressing next. And that weak point is the low side fuel pump. So that's the one that's sitting in your tank. And we found through testing that that pump starts to suffer around the 350, 375 wheel horsepower range. Now, there are some solutions for, for an upgraded pump. And those solutions rely on putting in a larger pump and putting in larger circuitry to support the bigger current drum. So, Unfortunately, the car does not come with a low side fuel pressure sensor. And because of that, uh, you're basically gonna run the, uh, the bigger pump in tank, not knowing what the actual pressure that it's delivering, and you're going to run up against the PRV, the pressure relief valve, and that's going to result in you overdriving that pump, drawing more current from the circuit than you need to, and that's why you always need an upgraded uh, kind of you know PM4 controller or a way to beef up your circuitry. Uh, there are ways to optimize this, and this is what we're working on. So, uh, because we want to dial a low side pump in properly, we needed to know what the fuel pressure coming into the high side is, and this is the setup that we have right here. Now we kind of killed two birds with one stone if you will, because this setup from Innovate, uh, is, it contains a ethanol content sensor and it contains a fuel pressure sensor. And this is a feed line coming in from the engine and going into the high side pump right here. And of course we T into this for our low side aux fuel injector. So this kit, um, we can actually, if there's demand for this, we can actually offer kind of a GTI, Mark says GTI specific kit with with these components. Uh, the install is fairly straightforward. You want to tap into the fuel side on, on your low side. Uh, you run the wires back through a grommet in the back of your uh, in the back of your firewall there. On the driver's side is behind the battery. And then you run all of this uh, into your into your vehicle here. And we've kind of left things a little bit hanging out. Uh, just so you guys can uh, can see how it all went in. So we tapped into the dimmer switch like a lot of the boost gauges out there do 
and uh, we use posi taps so these you can solder but these taps are quite high quality we brace the wiring for uh, to make sure that vibration does not affect it and then we used uh, one of these vent pods to hold the innovate uh, system in place so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just key on here and then you'll see that uh, the innovate gauge shows us what our fuel pressure is and our ethanol content. This kit also comes with um, a wide band L2, but that's already included as uh, you know OEM on the car. So you don't really need to wire in the wide band L2 unless of course you want to. So this information will help us dial in a low side, uh, a more potent low side pump. And you can see here that if I turn on the car, you can see the controller is, uh, the OEM controller is adjusting the pressure, but it's doing so blindly. So we need to make sure that this is dialed in correctly when we put in the bigger pump. So that's why we put this, uh, this gauge in. And uh, this is really paving the way to offering a very much a full fledged solution for your Mark 6 GTI so you know exactly what, what to do to augment your fueling and run those, uh, those larger numbers that the bigger turbos you guys are installing are capable of.